Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading The Little Mermaid's Birthday. Ooh, sounds like fun. Let's see what happens. Jiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a little mermaid. Very little. See, there she is. Anyway, the little mermaid was not just a mermaid. She was also a princess, daughter of the mighty sea king. And she had five older sisters, also princesses. One of the Little Mermaid's favorite things to do was listen to her sister's stories about the world beyond the water. See, whenever one of the princesses turned 18, she was allowed to go to the surface of the ocean. There, she could see the sky, and the birds, and the clouds. And if they were extra lucky, they might even see a ship with humans on board. Sometimes, though, the Little Mermaid got the sense that her sisters were just making stuff up. Human people have eight legs. They kind of look like octopuses. I think it's octopi. Whatever. And some humans have a horn on their head, like a narwhal. No way! You'll see. Land people have eyes all <laughs> over their bodies, so they can see everything at once. nuh -uh. Yeah, they do! When the Little Mermaid was almost 100% sure they were fibbing, she would go to her dad. Dad, is it true that human people have eight legs and a narwhal horn and lots of eyes and that they wrestle sharks and eat whale blubber for dessert? The only thing you should know about people is that they can be dangerous and you should never speak to one. Ugh, when am I going to get my chance to see the humans? I feel like I'll never turn 18. But of course she did grow up. See, there she is, right before her 18th birthday. Hi, <laughs> let me tell you about life as a sea princess. We lived in a palace made of shells and pieces of treasure from sunken ships. And you've heard of a school of fish, right? That's where we studied and learned. Actually, we did lots of things that human girls do, just a little differently. We played sports. We acted in plays. To swim or not to swim? That is the question. You should have seen me in South Pacific. The ocean time said I was a star. Imagine, me a starfish. <laughs> so basically, I was just a regular girl. Oh, except my best friend was a dolphin. <laughs> Hi there. I guess you humans might not think that's too regular. The craziest adventure was when we sneaked into the sea witch's house. She lived in a giant sunken pirate ship. Super creepy, but also super cool. <laughs> the sea witch had gone out to get a carton of whale milk for her coffee. We swam inside and... Wow! Cool! We were playing with a sword. Well, I was. <laughs> Dolph can't hold a sword. No hands! And I was just about to defeat the pretend pirate ghost that I was battling when... La 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 Hide! No! Let's get out of here! Out of where? Ah! Care to tell me what you're doing in my house? Nothing! Yeah, we took a wrong turn. Yeah, I mean, we don't even like it here. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, uh, see ya! Not so fast. Are you the daughter of the king? Um, yeah? I saw you on TV. You sang the Oceanic Anthem before the big squid dash in the orca race last year. Oh, down in the sea, by the prawns the light, or the sea sponge we. Oh, I just love your voice. Here, have some tea. Oh, why, thank you. Yes, a beautiful voice. You wouldn't want to trade it, would you? My voice? Yes. I would give you something wonderful in return. Anything you wished. We should really get going. Yes, I hate to be rude, but no thanks. Okay, we are never going back there. Definitely not. See you tomorrow at my place? Not if I see you first. Anyway, you may be wondering what was happening the next day. Nothing major. Just my 18th birthday! <laughs> we were having a huge party and everyone was there. All my friends and my sisters and my mom and dad. <laughs> there was a piñata, tons of balloons, and a pin the tail on the tiger shark. Hey, cut that out! And of course, we had a huge cake! <laughs> 
no candles though, because you know, water. <laughs> but I still made a wish. I wish that when I swim to the top of the ocean and look out, that I'll see a real live human prince. A handsome one. Not like what my crazy sisters keep telling me about. Like, I hope he only has two eyes. <laughs> like the handsome princes I've seen in my fairy tale books. I want to see him dance and ride a bike and play soccer. Oh, and I'd also like to dance and ride a bike and play soccer. That sounds cool. Hey, maybe I want to be a human. Just for a little while. Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Sorry, and I'm done. What do you wish for? I can't tell you that, but I will tell you that first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to the top of the ocean. I do that every morning. It's how I breathe. Oh, <laughs> I always forget that you're an air breather. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen a person? Not up close. What do you want to see a human for? No reason. The Little Mermaid was so excited about her first trip to the surface of the ocean that she could barely sleep. She tossed and turned in her bed all night. Finally, she drifted off to sleep and dreamed of having human feet. Hello, fellow human people. Thank you for coming to my dance recital. <laughs> now watch me dance with my brand new feet. Thank you. Yeah, eyeball guy, yuck. But the prince was really handsome. <sighs> the next morning, the little mermaid and Dolph swam to the top of the ocean where the water meets the sky. The last one there is a rotten turtle egg. Look, a ship. When the little mermaid and Dolph got to the surface, they looked out and saw a magnificent ship, definitely fit for a prince. What prince? That prince. And that's how the Little Mermaid met the prince. Her sisters were totally wrong. He wasn't a monster after all. He definitely only has two eyes. <laughs> I bet that if they ever meet, they'll live happily ever after. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count Simon. Are you ready to count it? Here we go. See, there she is, right before her 18th birthday. Hi, <laughs> let me tell you about life as a sea princess. We lived in a palace made of shells and pieces of treasure from sunken ships. And you've heard of a school of fish, right? That's where we studied and learned. Actually, we did lots of things that human girls do, just a little differently. We played sports. Okay, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one. There's two. There's three. And finally, there's four! That was so fun! Did you find them all? Are you ready to play Find It? Okay, here's what you need to look for. Drew, Dean Mean, Ray, and how about my Miss Booksy book? Okay, are you ready? Here we go! Now where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Drew, where are you hiding? Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Drew, ooh, good hiding spot. Dean, mean, I see you. Ray, found him. And finally, my nice booksy book. That's the last one. We did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference. Ray Blank, Grace Kale, and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. 
time is halfway up. Keep looking. Does that look right to you? Keep searching. See how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. Here's a difference. Here's one. This is a different color. This isn't here anymore. Sounds like Ray and his magic eraser. Did you find all of them? Wow, good job. Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye.